Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. We're going to solve absolute value inequalities. Most of what we're going to do in, abs uh, in solving absolute value inequalities is very similar to what we did when we solved absolute value equations. We're just going to add a little bit extra to the end. And the reason is, instead of an equal sign, you can see here that I have an inequality sign. Um, so we'll have to deal with that a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same as solving an absolute value equation. Step number one. Um, change the inequality sign to an equal sign. There's several different ways to solve these. This is the easiest way that I've found to do it. And I'm actually going to kind of ignore the inequality sign for now, and I'm going to change it to an equal sign. So I'm going to end up with 3x, absolute value of 3x plus 6 equals 12. We'll bring the inequality back toward the end of the problem. Step number two, solve the equation. So I'm going to solve it like an absolute value in, uh, equation like we did earlier. So I'm going to isolate the absolute value, make my two equations, solve each equation. So this one's already isolated, so now I can just start by making my two equations. So 3x plus 6 equals 12, 3x plus 6 equals negative 12. Alright, solve the equations, so subtract 6 from both sides, so 3x equals 6, so that means that x equals 2. And then on the other side, subtract 6 from both sides. So 3x equals negative 18. So x equals negative 6. Okay, uh, step number 3. I want to graph the solutions on a number line. So that means I'm going to take my two numbers that I just got to step 2. So negative 6 and 2, and I'm going to put them on the number line down here. So negative 6 will go over here. 2 will go over here, and most of the time I'll put a 0 on there just as a frame of reference. Okay, now I'm going to start to bring back the inequality. So the first thing I want to do is pick a point that's between the two graph points, so between negative 6 and 2. This could be any point. It could be negative 5, 1, 0, negative 3.724 if you want. It doesn't matter as long as it's between the two points. Do not pick negative 6 or 2. It has to be between them. All right, so let's say I can pick, uh, I'll pick 1 in this case. Okay, so I'm going to pick 1. Again, it doesn't matter, but 0 and 1 usually are, if they are between the two points, they're the easiest things to plug in. You want to make it easier on yourself. Okay, step 5. If the point picked works in the inequality, so I'm going to take that 1 and I'm going to plug it into the original inequality. If that 1 works in the inequality, if it makes it true, then it's an and, which means that if the 1 works, everything between the two numbers works. And I can, I can highlight the graph like an and inequality. So we're bringing back and and or stuff that we did a long time ago. Um, because we did it a long time ago, it's going to make this a lot easier. If that point pick doesn't work, let's say the 1 doesn't work, then nothing between the two points works. Everything else works. So it becomes an or. All right, so let's go ahead and try 1. So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 6 is 9. The absolute value of 9 is 9, and 9 is not greater than or equal to 12. So in this case, the 1 doesn't work. Okay, so the 1 doesn't work. So that means it's not an and. In this case, it's going to be an or. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is put my circles on negative 6 and 2. And because of the equal sign right there, that means I'm going to fill in the circles. And since it's an or, I'm going to go opposite directions like this, like the oars of a boat. And now I just write the inequality. So x is less than or equal to negative 6. And remember, when I write the variable on the left, the inequality points the same way as the arrow. Uh, or x is greater than or equal to 2. Throw my word or between them, and here is my solution, and my graph is right there. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Let's uh, solve the absolute value inequality. Absolute value of x plus 2 plus 3 is less than or equal to 8. First step, uh, change the um, inequality to an equal sign. So absolute value of x plus 2 plus 3 equals 8. Next step, solve it just like an absolute value equation. So I want to isolate the absolute value first. So I'm looking to isolate that first. So uh, let's see, subtract 3 from both sides. 
So I have absolute value of x plus 2 equals 5. All right, now make my two equations, positive and a negative. So x plus 2 equals 5 x plus 2 equals negative 5. Solve them. So subtract 2. So x equals 3. And subtract 2. x equals negative 7. All right, I want to put it on a number line. So let me draw my number line here. Let's uh, go ahead and put those values on there. So here's negative 7. And here's positive 3. And let's put our zero on there just as a frame of reference. So um, I'm going to use closed circles because I have an equal sign underneath the inequality. Now I want to pick a number that's between the two points. Remember, I don't want to pick negative 7 or 3. Any number between the two will work. So I can pick 0, 1, negative 6. It doesn't matter. So let's try 0. Uh, absolute value of, well, 0 plus 2 is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 is less than or equal to 8. Remember, I'm plugging it in up here. 5 is less than or equal to 8, so that means this one works. So that means this is an and, so I'm going to highlight between the dots. Now I just have to write my inequality. So I'm going to put the variable in the middle. Put Both inequalities point to the left in an and. Okay, we've done that a lot. Uh, the smaller number goes on the left. Bigger number goes on the right, and there's my answer. It's an um, x is between negative 7 and 3, including negative 7 and 3, because it's equal to it. And there's my graph. Okay, let's solve the absolute value inequality. 4 times the absolute value of x minus 1 minus 8 is greater than or equal to 16. All right, first step, change the inequality to an equal sign. Second step, solve it like an equation. So I want to isolate the absolute value. So let's add 8 first. Now divide by 4. All right, I have my absolute value isolated now, so now I'm going to make my two equations. So I have x minus 1 equals 6, x minus 1 equals negative 6. All right, so add 1 to both sides. So x equals 7. Add 1 to both sides. x equals negative 5. Okay, put those on a number line. Oops, sorry. Sorry, my number line's a little crooked. <laughs> okay, so let's put them on a number line. So there's negative 5. There's positive 7. And I'll put 0 on there. So let's put 0 on there. And let's pick a number that's between the two points. Let's pick 1. Plug it in up, up there at the top. 1 minus 1 is 0. Absolute value 0 is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 8 is negative 8. But negative 8 is not greater than or equal to 16. It doesn't work. So that means it's going to be an or. So before I go ahead and, and draw my arrows, I need to put my dots on there. Since there's an equal sign under the inequality, I'm going to fill in the circles. It's an or. So that means my graph goes out from negative 5 and 7. So now I need to write my inequality. So x is less than or equal to negative 5, or x is greater than or equal to 7. There's my solution in my graph.